Hey man, how's it going? I'm not I'm not about to kill you. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fireball. You got him. Hey everyone, welcome to Smiley Gaming. Today we'll be checking out Dragon Extinction, an early access ARPG game from Zephyr Games. This game has crafting, procedural dungeons, a hefty items list for all your item hoarding needs, multiple biomes, mining and gathering, an upgrade system, and also multiplayer. Now because it's early access, not all content is in the game. The story for the game hasn't been implemented yet, as an example. They will also be adding more items, more maps, skills, quests and enemies. If you'd like to look at the game, I'll leave the link to the Steam page down in the description. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Enough talking about the game, let's jump in here and have a look. So we're going to jump over to create a character here. And as you can see, it's got a crazy looking character creation menu. Alright, so we've got a range of skin colours. So I haven't played this game yet. This will be the first time I'm jumping in here. So we should all be on the same page. Uh, we have hairs over here. Lovely. Looks like it has a wide selection of hairs. Alright. Uh, now I don't know what type of character I would want to be. Uh, so it looks like we've got warrior class, we've got mage class, and that's it. So it looks like that could be a ranger class, and maybe this one's like a warlock or some sort. Uh, they will be adding more classes later on. As I said before, this is an early access game. Uh, so we're going to go mage, I think. I think I would like to see what the mage has. Let's find a suitable hair. That's good. It's very dapper. All right, let's go face. So it looks like scarring, uh, tattoos. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll just go blank face at the moment. We'll change facial hair. All right. So it looks like you keep your stubble and you have a wide selection of uh, different types of beards here, which is great. I do love a character customization with a lot of, a lot of options when it comes to faces. Excellent. Uh, eyebrows. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Very aggressive. No eyebrows. The eyebrows definitely shape the face. Uh, let's just find... I like I like this one. It's a bit aggressive. It's not too aggressive. It's good. All right. Uh, scar color, facial art. So it looks like you can change your tattoo colors. Uh, I think we'll keep all the rest. Uh, what does that do? Whoa. Makes it all shiny. That's uh, it's a bit weird. Let's go just a dark, uh, dark green here. Excellent. Let's call ourselves Smiley. Very creative. All right, there we go. That's our character. Let's jump in here. That's the character creation screen. Uh, so there's our character. Lovely. It's got a very, very nice looking art style, in my opinion. Do enjoy the looks of these games. There's a couple of other games that look like this. Uh, shift to sprint. Okay, just a jewelry seller. Lovely, so this looks like some type of town hub. All right, let's blast through this tutorial up here. So it wants us to open our inventory. So we'll do that. Okay, it's got power, affinity, vitality, endurance, uh, intelligence, endurance, mana, health, stamina, health regen, mana regen, critical hit, bonuses. The list does go on. Excellent. So it looks like you can get damage buffs, damage resistances, uh, uh, an assortment of skills. Can we drag these? Oh, we can. Excellent. I do like a good fireball, so we'll put a skill point in that. Uh, looks like level 10 and level 20, we unlock some new stuff. Interesting. We have got no rewards. Lovely. It looks like we forgot to spend our tributes here. Uh, does it tell me what it does? Vitality increases mana and health regen. Why does it say vitality? Uh, no matter. I'm pretty sure it's meant to say intelligence. So we'll increase that. So that's one point. Power increases damage. Does it increase mage damage? Uh, we will just go for it. Excellent. Uh, you can store items in the storage chest. Shared items can also be accessed. Uh, I'm assuming this might be the storage chest. So we'll press E. You can start quests at the quest board. Okay. Shared. So it looks like you can share between your characters. That's good. It's always good in these types of games. And this looks like it's the quest board. So we can go private or public. Uh, we might go we might go private for now. 
we will host one. No difficulty. And it looks like we've got combat training that we can get into. I reckon that's a good idea, so let's start that. Alright, here we are. Alright, pretty cool. So, lock on. Uh, F, F to lock on. Excellent. Uh, you can attack by pressing mouse 1. Alright, uh, guard by holding mouse 2. Uh, Q to dodge. Alright, I feel like I'm going to be dodging to the right much more often, because dodging to the left is a bit tricky with pressing Q. That's alright. Uh, what happens if we press 1? Oh, very cool. That's the fireball. Lovely. Alright, well we completed that short little tutorial, just to give you a brief uh, example of the combat there. Alright, uh, let's let's run around to see what uh, these people have to offer. So this is the forge, so it looks like it's crafting materials. So you get hide, you turn that into leather, that's pretty good. Um, bag upgrade to increase your slots, always handy in these types of games. Uh, by filling slots with gems, okay. And these are the gems. So coal, iron, money, and the ruby itself, and you can get rings that do, uh, gems that do different stuff. Excellent. Oh, I keep pressing escape, that's all right. Uh, what do you do, mate? Do you do anything? Doesn't even look like I can walk over here. Uh, nope. Okay, it's got like some sort of invisible barricade over here. That's alright. Uh, invisible barricade again. I'm not a fan of the big invisible barricades. That's alright. Uh, we've got jewelry here. So how much money have we got? Does it tell us? Alright, unless I'm blind, I can't seem to find any money. Maybe we haven't got any. Maybe it just goes straight into the inventory here. Uh, no matter. Rewards? Nope. Oh, I keep pressing escape. Alright, let's jump over to... Uh, let's do a quest. So I think the first quest is to hunt uh, raccoons, I think. Um, raccoons, foxes, wolves and deers. We get coins and we get whatever that is. Prove your worth by hunting animals in the wild. Alright, let's do that. Excellent. Looks like the music has dropped out and now it is back. That's alright. Alright. So it looks like uh, it's not exactly open world, it's more instances, which is not too bad. Alright, there's a couple of coyote looking dudes down there. What do we got here? Uh, loot. Potions, we'll just take all those. R is the shortcut, shortcut to take them all. Uh, let's see what you are. Looks like we're in combat. First combat. We'll firebolt. 99 damage. Alright, come on. His health bar looks like it's above my quick. No, is that my stamina? It is my stamina. Alright, no worries. What has he got? Hide, excellent. Alright, uh, we've got some yellow dots on the compass up top. Looks like we can gather wood if need be. Is that right? No. Must have been this on the ground. Which is a herb. Alright, looks like there's a fox over here. We'll grab him. Or is that a raccoon? Looks like a raccoon. Do we get him? No. Firebolt. Excellent. Firebolt this one. Okay, firebolt. It's looking pretty good. We'll loot that. It's got nothing in it. Alright, let's go let's go catch him. Firebolt on the run. Excellent. Alright, he's down. Let's grab this. What is this? Raccoon hide. Lovely. Alright, combat is a bit janky at the moment. I uh, guess it's to be expected in an early access title. Oh, it looks like the deer wants to fight back. We'll firebolt him. Lovely. Uh, it might be just something that you can get used to. But um, but yeah, it is a bit it is a bit janky. But no no matter. Alright, so what do we need now? Is this loot? Can we gather anything here? Nope. Okay. Uh, so we need two more raccoons, more foxes, uh, four more wolves, and four more deer. Alright, we'll go do that. Um, it definitely seems like a game that would be beneficial if you had uh, your buddy playing. So if you've got someone to play with, I, it definitely seems like it's set out for a more multiplayer feel. Which is to, to be expected in an ARPG, it's always good if you have more than one person. There's a skeleton over there, skeleton down there. It looks like you mine, you don't need a pickaxe or anything. 
Um, will these guys demolish me? They probably will, to be honest. Let's just head down here. Firebolt this wizard looking ghost. Alright, health's on the left. Let's just roll out of the way here. Fireball. Excellent. Not my luck, I'm probably going to die straight off the bat. Oh, looks like that guy's down. Skeleton and go. Fireball him. Lovely. Here we go. Alright, skeleton down. Let's see what the ghost had on her. Uh, a wooden stick. Excellent. That's just what I need. Uh, what's this? Iron. Is there a reason it pops up red? Maybe I'm out of inventory space? I'm unsure. No matter. Alright, let's come over here. There's a dude here. Alright, alright, calm down. We've got some stamina running out. That's alright. Lock on, fireball. Lovely. We'll fireball this guy while we're here. Just keep keep blasting them. Looks like you can rapid fire your fireballs. That lighting effect is very bright, but that's alright. I do have all the settings on uh, Ultra, so... Alright, let's grab the Iron Ore. Lovely. Alright, let's grab these guys. Alright, uh, most, most, uh, most of the time with these types of games, it does take a bit uh, for the game to get anywhere uh, good. So as an example, if you play Diablo, the start of the game is, is, is a lot different than the end of the game. Uh, you know, you get much more powerful, you have to fight larger bosses, etc, etc. And then the grind becomes, becomes the game. See if we can blast this guy. Excellent. Uh, what are these guys? Are these guys wolves? Let's get out of the tree here. Fireball him. Excellent. Going to assume that was a wolf. Sounds like a wolf. It is a wolf. Excellent. They're very small for wolves, but that's alright. Uh, let's grab this bag. Uh, meat. Lovely. Alright. Hey, man. How's it going? I'm not, I'm not about to kill you. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fireball. Got him. Right, let's keep blasting him. Oh, I've got a wolf on me. Just keep blasting him. Keep blasting. Lovely. Alright. It seems like those mage attacks are the way to go. Uh, let's find that elk. Where'd he go? Alright. Blast them both. Blast them both. Excellent. Raccoon's down. Deer's down. Alright. Uh, we've got another wolf on us. Alright, back up, back up. Just realised we're almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to find out what happens when you die. So first death here. Uh, I reckon it's just going to bring us back to the town. Aye. Do we get to keep our inventory? We do. Excellent. That's pretty good. Uh, we have leveled up twice by the looks of it. So let's grab some more skill points here. Uh, what's this? Dash. Thunderbolt. Ice Shard. Water Ball. Let's just pump up. Can we not level this up one more time? That's alright. We'll grab Dash here. Uh, we'll put that on one and we'll put this on two. Excellent. And then I don't think, what, 50, 67? Alright, so this one's way better. The one I've currently equipped. Stop pressing that button. It's probably tab to back out, but I keep pressing other buttons. Uh, let's check her out. I think red means you can't equip it. I think that's that's what it means. But there's no indication of why why I can't. So that's very very annoying. Let's bump that up. Let's bump our vitality up just to get some more health in us. Alright, I'd like to see a compare system. Something that I can compare with my current equipped. So 60, 60. See, they're the same. We don't need those. We also don't have any gold. So if we sell, so if we right click. There we go. 
yeah, and the gold does go into your inventory, which is very good. So we'll sell the herbs, sell the potions. Uh, we'll keep all those. We'll sell the meat. We'll keep all those. So it looks like now we've got 29 gold, which is pretty good. Stop pressing escape. All right, let's uh, let's check out the forge again. See what we can do. So it looks like we can craft uh, fox hide. So we'll craft that. We'll craft that. Excellent. We'll craft that, and we'll craft all those. Lovely. So that didn't take any money, which is good. All right. So now we've got leather. They sell for one each, so not very good. Uh, can we? It looks like you can only use leather to craft your backpack at the moment, which I don't know. Fair enough. Uh, maybe. Maybe, uh, like, a, if we go weapons over here. Uh, broken sword, yeah, that's going to be helpful. Saint Lord of the Rings. Metal bar, wooden stick. Alright, looks like you can buy back from anybody. Uh, what has this person got? So he's got potions. Uh, and then we got jewelry over here. Alright. So, commonly, jewelry gives you different types of buffs. Excellent. This person's got books. What's books for? Attribute resets. Okay, so skiller, so like a respec. And this guy you can't talk to. He sells fish, apparently. So it does look like it's just this area. You can't leave the area. So it's just around this tree. Alright, let's see if we can finish this. It does seem like um, it would be a good idea to just constantly do this. Level yourself up and just keep that, keep that momentum going. So it seems like dying... Dying is... Because you get you keep all your stuff when you die anyway, so it's not like you're losing out too much. So you die, you get better. You die, you get better. I'm going to go around, hunt as many of these cans. Hopefully I don't die again. I'll be back. Alright, so we've only got uh, one wolf left. So we'll just go locate him. Shouldn't be too hard to find, hopefully. But uh, that wasn't too bad. I just pretty much just spammed my fireball. And then uh, it managed to take him down pretty simply. Uh, so there should be another wolf around here somewhere. Where you at? Oh, there's one. Alright, let's grab him. Alright. Uh, blast him. Alright, one more hit. There we go. Dunzel. Excellent. First quest, quest complete. So that, that one. That wasn't too challenging. I think I died uh, last time I did it because I versed the skeletons and all that. They definitely did a bit of damage to me and I was already pretty low on health. Alright, so that's the first mission done. Let's see if we get any rewards. Is this right? No. Uh, I think we did level up. So we're now level 4. We have two attribute points. Uh, critical hit chance. Intelligence. And then we'll go power. I don't I don't know if power upgrades my hit. Don't know. It doesn't look like it does. Otherwise, this would be buffed up in here. Uh, skills, we'll pump it into fireball again. Heal Nova would be nice to heal ourselves. All right, we've got a whole bunch of fur, so we will swap that out. So we'll craft, 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 craft. Craft, craft, craft. The best ones for leather at the moment for me would be wolf and deer, and they give me two each, which is pretty good. Let's jump over to quest menu again. Let's go host. We'll go one to five. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can reach level 50 at the moment. Uh, possibly they are blurred out for me, but I am unsure. But as you can see, there is a lot in the game that uh that you could do so let's do bandits here it says it wants us to fight 10 bandits for 100 gold so we'll do that uh it looks like it's the same map at the moment that might change uh so it looks like uh, there's a whole bunch of bandits here hopefully my fireball does damage to a range of them and not just uh, a little bit of them so let's fireball here all right one hit two hit Three hit, four hit, four hits of the fireball to kill them. Well, to kill that guy anyway. All right, so they're a bit tanky. We're level five now, which is excellent. So I reckon these guys are at the, the camps uh, dotted around the map. Excellent. Uh, do they have any loot on them? 
And what would they drop? They would drop weapons. So maybe hunting the bandits is a good way to to get weapons. He's got a hammer. Uh, all right, let's look into this guy. Fireball him. Lovely. One, two, three, and one more. Excellent. And then we'll attack this guy. All right, this mission shouldn't be too difficult to do. Uh, looks like there was five in that camp, so maybe the next camp will have the same amount. So these might be good to just sell. I want sells for 22 coins. All right, let's use our dash. All right, looks like it increases our sprint speed. So let's go look for another camp. There's a wagon there. All right, there's a couple of bandits here. Excellent. All right, let's blast them. Oh. Fireball's having some issues. There we go. Uh, okay, one more. Excellent. And then, oh, there's another bandit. It looks like that one spotted me. This is bad. I might actually get attacked by him now. All right, let's, uh, hopefully I don't die. Let's fireball him. Excellent. Fireball him. Excellent. Roll out of the way. Fireball him. Excellent. Fireball him. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, looks like uh, this guy's popped back up. Kind of looks like he might have spawned in. Um, do these stack? They don't stack, so I am running out of... Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by a fox, man. Do you mind? You're going to take all my fireballs. I need those. Alright. So we need two more. Looks like there's a camp down here. Maybe some bandits. No, no bandits. That's alright. We'll keep looking. Alright, this one just leads into the bush. Oh, there's some. Looks like they took a bit to spawn in. Okay, there's another one. Alright, let's grab this guy. Hopefully it won't proc the others. Two, three. Alright, one more. Oh, he's a bit stronger than the rest. Excellent. We're level six. So I wonder why it comes up with red. I am, I am curious about that. Because it said we got some money. Well, we have 429. How'd that happen? Did we get that from completing the, the quest? I'm unsure. Well, we're back in town now. Let's sell the the swords. We won't need them. So we'll sell those. Those. All right, making some making some lovely money now. Excellent. So it looks like we have 715 coins. Let's back up here. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, no, my, my impressions of the game are a bit... Uh, the game feels a bit janky. Its controllers are a bit uh, a bit shaky. Uh, it definitely needs some work. Uh, the combat feels a bit janky as well. It doesn't feel smooth. Um, the fact that I can just spam fireball uh, might make... Uh, well, as you can see, it made the combat very easy. Uh, melee is horrible. <laughs> and the, the dodge button also needs to change, but you could probably just change that in your options menu. Uh, pros about the game. I love the artwork. I love the style of the game. Very cool. I do love RPGs. Uh, sorry, ARPGs. So I'm assuming in the game later on you can get a whole bunch of a whole range of weaponries, buff you up and make you make you much stronger. Uh, leveling up in the game doesn't seem to be an issue. I'm level six now and I've I've pretty much just begun. But yeah, if you enjoyed the game, go down in the description, check out the Steam page, give it a purchase, give it a look out. If you don't like it, you can always just refund it. There's no drama there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video, this little impressions video. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Dragon Extinction. Check it out in the description. Peace.